Yes, well, enough reminiscing. Are you about done here? Almost done, yes. Have you seen that Janice's oddball nurse is at it again? Oh yeah, the bird guy. I think he comes early. Chat with the bird. Spend more time with them than he does with Janice. Who are you? Where's Lafayette? He's not well. Hopefully it's something serious. I wouldn't mind if Lafayette was replaced permanently. He's an insufferable bore with a room temperature IQ. But if you're the new guy, you'll need to be on time. I have a busy schedule, you know. distinct face, my friend. Eastern European, am I right? But more than that, a refined mix of cultures. You look almost like an artist's rendering of the perfect man. I knew a man once, a doctor. He would have found you quite interesting, I think. Is that? Oh? No one ever taught you any manners? Yeah, me here. Just checking out a strange sound. Over. Off to torture. <sighs> so, back to this thing. I'll just spend a few minutes with the inhaler to fill my system with as much oxygen as possible. Must be pretty thankless Before work. Before so, to you the know, bathroom thanks. for the health check itself. Well, while Mr. Janus fills his lungs, I'd like a quick word with you. Please, come with me. What the hell? All right, new guy. I know this looks like a relaxed operation, but I run a tight ship. Nobody gets alone time with Janus unless I know them. And I don't know you. So here's what I'll do. I'm going downstairs to run a security check on you. It should only be a few minutes. In the meantime, you wait in the study. We'll lock the doors and my men will make sure you don't accidentally wander off. I'm sure you understand. Please, wait in there. Say what? Excuse me? Hey! 47, you have to find a way out of there. I can't possibly construct a viable ID for you in time. I'll have Miss Hall remotely interfere with their search, but we can't keep it up for long. Certainly an interesting turn of events. No Still, problem. no rest yeah. for the wicked, 47. Like the you could probably slip back inside and give Janus his health check while his bodyguard is busy. Just be mindful of the patrolling guards. I'm back. I suggest we go to the bathroom now. All right. Let's go then.
Adams. No last name. Ah, the Russian. Okay, well, here goes. It's far enough, sir. You know, you remind me of someone I met a long time ago, a young boy in Romania. Tell me more about this boy. Ah, the boy. I remember his eyes better than anything. Ice cold, defiant. Maybe it was the nature of the project itself that led me to dislike him, but I felt nothing but disappointment when I looked at him. What a waste of resources. Project. Now please remove yourself. What project? <laughs> it was all based on one madman's pipe dream. Create an army of super soldiers through genetic manipulation. Somehow, he had managed to impress my superiors, and they had provided him with effectively endless resources to be wasted on foolish ideas and experiments. The project was idiotic. The subjects were erratic, unreliable. Why build an army of reckless super soldiers when a handful of well-placed spies can do so much more for your cause? What became of him? Oh, I don't know. Dead, I assume. In the end, we had his mind wiped. All the boys underwent the same treatment. I didn't follow the subsequent cleanup process, but from what I understand, the doctor and everyone else associated with the project is long gone. I see. Yes, well, enough reminiscing. Are you about done here? Almost done, yes. Feels like an easy way out for a man like him. Still. We are close now, 47. Listen, I swear I have a lot.